Well, hello, everybody. I know it's been a hot minute since I've been able to post a video. I think it's been over a week at this point, and this gameplay is actually over a week old. I've actually been, I've had some time to actually play the games. I've been trying to grind out some of the uh, ranked seasons. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know what's going on exactly. But if you don't, then you just have to wait to see it on the YouTubes. If you want to check it out, you can check out my old tweets. Go follow me on Twitter. I do recommend everybody follow me on Twitter anyway. You guys will know when the videos go live. Uh, we can actually just get the bases loaded over here with a with a uh, little infield single by good old flashback David Wright. But follow me at It's Dansby, I-T-S-D-A-N-S-B-Y. We got Freddie Freeman up here, first inning. With the bases loaded and nobody out. So it was actually against the World Series opponent who had gone 12 and 0 in Battle Royale, and he makes a mistake pitch here. And I am just able to drive it out of the yard for a quick 4 nothing lead. I when you get a 4 nothing lead in the first inning, you you feel like you're on top of the world. I thought I could do no wrong, um, and I'm actually able to hit one with Mickey Mantle here. So I did tr did change. My Ricky Henderson into a Mickey Mantle. I'm not so sure if I showed that on a, uh, a video recently. Again, because it's been like eight days since I posted the video, and probably like ten since I made one. So, um, <laughs> so what? What else? What else can I uh, say about this game right now? Game is, uh, oof, I don't know, little, uh, little wonky, little wonky. I, I, I gotta say, I, I'm probably gonna be playing some battle royale a little bit more. Um, I, I can tell you I wasted a bunch of stubs that I earned from, like, the, uh, the, di the Dynasty, uh, tiers. You know, when you get 14,000 stubs for doing the, the various things, I can tell you that I actually, uh, I got, like, 15,000 stubs, and I did these stupid, uh, bases loaded packs. Oh my god, what a waste of stubs. I know I always tell you guys, don't bother with packs, don't bother buying packs, and I should listen and take my own damn advice, because, oh my gosh, you want to know what I got in the bases loaded packs? So they give you like a guaranteed uh, veteran, like um, impact veteran or breakout. And honestly, the reason I was doing it was I was trying to get an additional starting pitcher because I wanted to do that Oldswold thing, but I'm not going to spend 20k on a pitcher. Although, it probably would have just been smarter at, at this point considering I got nothing. You want to know what I was able to pull in those base loaded packs as my flashback? I pulled Ike Davis twice, who I already have. It was a garbage card, by the way. I mean, he's got like 97 power against the righties, but other than that, he's pretty... He's pretty poor, and I picked up, uh, who else did I got? I got an Aaron Hicks, Minnesota Twins flashback, who's an okay card, but again, I already had that card. So I was like, God damn it, and it was, you know, 5,000 stubs, and you could easily, uh, I was only able to sell those guys for, I think, combined 1,500. So, um, considering that I spent 15,000 stubs, I got duped <laughs> really, really badly. And generally, my pack luck with the special packs have been okay, and uh, I'm definitely up money. Especially when that player of the month one hit, and I was able to get um, Aaron Judge, and I got like 85k, so I'm definitely up money on those things. Well, not money, but you know, up stubs on those uh, on those transactions there. But pff, I guess it is what it is. <laughs> we got Freddie Freeman coming up right here again, and Freddie Freeman, what a freaking monster this card is! I don't I don't know how I could possibly take this card out of my lineup. I want to get that flashback Victor Martinez from the from the store, and I would have had enough tickets, but me like an idiot, I bought that Ken Griffey one, although I'm not even finished with the with all the uh, things, so it was really stupid for me to spend 5,000 stubs, I could have had this Victor Martinez for a while, even though this flashback Griffey goes deep, that's the la one of the last things I need to do, I need to hit, I don't, I think I need to hit like 7 more home runs, and get like, I don't know, like 18 more RBIs, or something along those lines, maybe a little bit less than that, but we have a long way to go to get that 92 Griffey, and then we'll have all four Griffeys, and I can finally, you know, cash in that mission, Then I don't have much to do, I have, I think I have the hardware, the hardware stats to do, which I'm actually working on right now, I started working on yesterday a little bit for about an hour or two, to try to get them done, I was doing them in like Conquest, because the way I figured is, you can get like Conquest, the 10 packs, and you can do it like five times, so you might as well just go through it a little bit if you're grinding out things. I mean, I'm grinding that out, and I'm grinding out the Roy Oswalt uh, veteran thing right now. Um, I am trying to finish the Dre Beck and the Nelson Cruz one with the breakout players, so you'll actually see in my next, some of my uh, videos coming up, I'm only using breakout players, so I, 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 my lineup is going to change uh, quite a bit. Either I'm using breakout players and, and veterans, or it, it's mixed up, because I'm trying to get these uh, these programs 
done. You need to get you some stubs, to get you some some decent players, get you some tickets. So I just want to get get those things done. I want to get that Lou Brock card, which I'm pretty close to getting to. I'm like two percent off. So if I finish any of those uh, missions, I'm able to get Lou Brock. And I don't think I'm going to start Lou Brock, but I would gladly have Lou Brock to be on my team for like a uh, for a pinch runner. I'm able to get a nice hit here with Daniel Murphy. Daniel Murphy actually I've taken out of my lineup. I'm not really using him much anymore. Uh, for some reason, I don't seem to... His stats are okay. I mean, like, uh... I mean, his his actual attributes are really good. I mean, my... I play okay with him. But he's just so garbage in the infield. I don't even like having him there. I'm actually even tempted to use the flashback Jackie Robinson, the one that you got, I got for, uh... For the event reward and use him at second base because only he's a silver and he's, 80, and he's an 82 overall at second base he's like a 94 overall if you'd like punch and make a player and put in like the same statistics and put him at second base that's pretty much what he's like a 94 diamond overall there plus you can put him in and it makes your your rating mod it doesn't really do much for the rating mod overall since he's only an 82 overall as a first baseman so it makes your rating mod lower and a lot of people don't realize this when you play with the stack team you're ha you're gonna be playing against not necessarily better players, but you're going to be playing against players that either have a better team than you or that are better than you. So when you play with a more balanced lineup, like I put some guys on my bench, like for example, instead of having a really, really well-rounded guy on my bench, I put someone like Breakout in this game, for example. I had Breakout Corey Dickerson on this team, who doesn't hit lefties worth a lick, but he kills righties, and he's only like an 84 overall, so it doesn't take, doesn't put much of a hit on my mods doesn't make it so high like I see some of these guys that I watch on YouTube and I <laughs> get it, give up a bomb over here first run that I had given up since that I think the second inning I kind of had figured this guy out and this was another World Series opponent by the way guys I've I've played 30 games in ranked seasons so far 30, 30 games actually it's 31 ranked games now 31 ranked games in seasons and 27 of them 27 of 31 were against players that were in the World Series last season. I have to say, I've done pretty well for myself against them because I wasn't able to make the World Series last season. I kind of ran out of time at the end. I didn't have time to play, I would say, the last 10 days of the season, although it was the longest season. But then again, it's also easier to get through it this season because they start you off, you know, later on, depending on where you finish. So, you know, I started out in the wild card because I finished up with, like, I think it was an 818 or something like that in the championship series in the, in the uh, Ivy season. So, I mean, I did relatively well. I actually had gotten it up to like an 868 or something like that at one point. And then I lost a few in a row and I wasn't able to, like I said, I wasn't able to put the time in. Or when I was able to find, I wasn't able to string like three or four wins together. I, I was having issues making win streaks. I mean, I started out really well last se in, the, in the IV season and then I kind of tapered off and was do and playing 500 for a while. Um, I've been doing, like I said though, I've, if you follow me on Twitter, I've been doing pretty, here's the Corey Dickerson card. I was actually able to uh, leg out this single here. It was a, a pretty... Uh, Pretty lucky hit if, if I do say self, you know, it is what it is. But I was uh, really happy to uh, be really get the big lead on this guy over here. And this was a ridiculous at bat. I had four pitches that could have been called strikes. Two definitely should have been called strikes, and the other two could have gone either way. And I was like, I don't know what else I have to do rather than just throw one down the middle. And to tell you the truth, I was up by I was up by four here. I probably could have just thrown it down the middle, but look at that. All, all those pitches had pretty much at least half the ball in. Some of them had almost the entire ball in. So I felt like it was getting squeezed a little bit. I felt like the game was trying to get this guy back in the game, but we are able to have AJ Pollock turn over this one for a nice 5-4-3 twin killing, and that pretty much gets us out of the jam here. He is able to get another hit here, and uh, these plays generally sometimes suck, but at least I was able to get it this time around with no, no damage been, being done with uh, Chris Medlin. And I use Chris Medlin card a lot. It's... It's a decent card. It doesn't really get strikeouts, but he has a lot of movement, and you get people to swing at stuff outside the zone a lot. I'm learning a little. I'm pitching a little bit better recently, and right here I'm actually making some dis defensive substitutions. I like to do this late in games when uh, when I don't think I'm going to get another at bat. I take out Daniel Murphy, and I, who the heck? I don't even remember who the hell I took out for um, for what's his face um, to put an Alex Gordon. But I, I wanted to get my best defensive alignment out there because there have been times where I've lost games or almost lost games based on crappy defense that I, that's nothing in my control so you just want to get your best defenders out there later in the game I, I was actually debating I'm putting Juan Lagares on, on my team for the for that very reason but then again he only hits lefties and I think in the game he doesn't even hit them that well so that's that with that but I, I would definitely uh, say to get some good defenders on your defense and some guys that have some speed balance out your uh, your bench 
not don't just look for guys that hit the long ball because you can hit the long ball with lots of guys in this game. Some of them don't even need to have that much power. So I just try to make a balanced team. But you you guys will see. I I'm gonna play with a lot more varied lineups within my I'm gonna say my next seven uploads, and after that I'm not sure. I'm taking a little bit of break from the ranked seasons right now. We'll probably start playing it again maybe in a week or so, like right before it's going to switch over. I think it does switch over in a week, actually. I think it's next uh, Monday, the next season, or the, this season is going to end. And yeah, this guy doesn't want to die here. <laughs> he's just trying to extend this game over. Grand he's able to get a hit with uh, Granderson. And we have Freddie Freeman up here. And I don't want to I don't want to let him back in this game and let my pitcher confidence... Get low. I just I wanted to end this game with Medlin. I didn't want to bring anybody else. My previous game, I remember my bullpen kind of got depleted, but we were able to get Freddie Freeman striking out on a uh, nasty, nasty changeup here, and that's the game, guys. Do me a favor. You enjoyed the video. Please like the video, and hopefully I will catch you guys soon. Later.